M zero FXB, welcome to my channel. So, Alens HD one DMR radio. I had a question about the firmware, and the question was, which firmware version do I use? And if you look here on the updated firmware, because you've got to remember that the new models that are coming out, they may have different components now because of the chip shortage. So they they will be using different firmwares. So the one I've got on my particular radio is 1.79. But if you look here, HD1 firmware for radio version starting uh, with serial number, and then it says here version two. Now, if I've got my radio here, we just pull the tab upwards like so. It's quite fiddly, and then just open the back. Okay, and the back comes off. And then you look at the serial number, and mine says SN, and it starts to go 2205. Okay, that's my serial number. 2205, and it goes on. Right, so let's have a look which one I could use. So we're going to click one of these. Uh, for radio, start with 2 point, and serial numbers start with SNP, so you've got radio number as well. Have a look, we've got IC23503 HD1 SN. I do think it's important that we get this right. I just click that. If there's any information on this on this section here, HD1 firmware. And it just says what it does about encryption. There's not a big, a big change. Just click the other one. <clears throat> Again, enc encryption. They're not big changes for these two-point versions. I know there was one big firmware update a while back. 2.8, let's have a look. Contacts quality being less than it less than imported contacts fix the problem of the radio contacts quantity being less than the imported contacts okay well there's a bug there so i've got 1.79 let's see let's click it double click change log solve the problem that the keyboard cannot be unlocked after receiving a text message so they are small bugs. I do think you've got to be careful. Now, all the, the upgrade instructions is all here, and I have made videos doing it as well. Get one Alens HD. Get programming need. It's the type that screws in the side. Connect your HD1 and PC. Use programming cable. Press PTT on the side whilst turning on. You're in DFU mode. Find the COM port. Right-click device manager to do that. Click get version that you've already downloaded. Click update. Update. So it's quite simple. So I don't know if I'm going to update mine yet. I need to sort of look a bit closer. Is it worthwhile for the sake of a tiny little bug that I'm never going to use? But I still thought I'd answer the question that I was asked, which firmware should I use? And I would say, well, you have to carefully check your serial number is in line with their guidance. So thanks for watching my channel. 7-3, all the best.